after defining the grids the first thing that you have to do is define the materials okay so we know that uh, so uh, let me delete this thing I'll explain you something that's not very deaf thing but we know that uh, a structural member that consists of beam and columns suppose uh, let us take beam as an example so okay let us change the color to blue right so if this is your beam over here then the components of the beam are the rebars okay and here is the concrete right so these are the rebars and this is the concrete the concrete uh, if we talk we have got various types of concrete for example we got m20 grade of concrete we got m25 grade of concrete so in structural members minimum of m20 grade of concrete is needed and again we got m30 if you need better strength okay and similarly if we talk about the rebars we got fe 415 that is the yield strength of this rebar is 415 newton per mm square we got fe 500 and we got fe that is the latest one 550 okay so this is uh, becoming obsolete this is what most of the sites use and this is the new and people have started using this also so we have to tell it as what materials we are using in our structural members so here we are using uh, concrete and the rebar we have to tell it as we are using this grade of concrete and also we have to tell it as we are using this grade of steel so uh, we'll do this okay and uh, for that we have to go to define and from here click on material properties and over here there are uh, different materials already defined so we don't need them we'll click on add new material and over here a region you have to select so if you drop down you will get different regions so select the region that your country lies in I'll select here India so that doesn't mean that my country lies in India it means that the course that we follow are from India okay so we select India and the material type we define over here is concrete so we'll select concrete the standard is Indian and the grade of concrete is M20 uh, you can select any other grade of concrete if you are specific right now okay so let's select M20 for this tutorial and we click on OK so here this dialog box appears so if you know any property of the concrete you can edit that property over here for example you can change the modulus of elasticity or poison's ratio or you know weight per unit volume okay so we'll not do these things here because they are accurate and we click on okay after that we define the rebars for that again click on add new material so reason is india material type is rebar right so don't get confused with this steel this steel means the steel structural members such as that I sections you know I beams of steel steel rolled sections you know so this means that we are not defining that one we are defining the rebar standard is Indian grid of steel will select FE 500 and we click on OK again this dialog box we will rename this as FE 500 and material type is rebar so uh, per unit volume of the fe500 is 78.5 kilonewton per meter cube right so rest things are same if you know any specific thing you can change over here we click on ok all right so here uh, i have defined only m20 grade of concrete and if you want to use you know higher grade of concrete in beam and column and lower grade of concrete in slab you can define m25 or m30 grade of concrete as per your requirement so after defining the materials we click on okay